you've returned to us. My lord, the great dragon. We'll tell Masters Riley and Destris you're here. We hope you'll be proud of the work we've done. Yes, my lord. We practically own the streets. My lord, good to see you again. Hope you like what we've done with the place. What can old Riley and Destris do for you? I understand you've been busy since I saw you last. I'm interested in the CN-12. CN-12, huh? Funny you should mention it. We wanted to build your cult up into something big, see? And we picked the CN-12 to do it. It's a real crazy technology, and it just happened some of the members worked on an early prototype called the Deathmark. We saw an opening, and there you have it. It was all dandy until a mucker called the Veil got involved. He's blasted our supply chain to pieces, and he controls the CN-12 market now. Surely he'll be open to negotiations. He hasn't listened to a word so far. He's not easy to get at. Holes up in Shadow Town. And he made it clear he only wants to meet with the boss. We, uh, didn't think that was really an option. I will put on my most unsettling display of charm. That's what I like about you, my lord. When you get an idea, you don't mess around. Good luck. I am here as requested. Which one of you is the Veil? I am the Veil. No, I am the Veil. No, it is me. I am the Veil. Actually, none of us are the Veil. Because all of us are the Veil. Still, we are all very glad to make your acquaintance, Cult Master. What will it take to convince you to give me the CN-12? Your cult. The streets of Nar Shaddaa only have room for one true voice. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12. You seem to have made a mistake. I am not a naive thug like Destris or Riley. That is why we wanted to deal with you. The lowlifes that run your cult are brutal enough, but they lack vision. Why settle for a cult, when you can have an empire? Our resources extend beyond the CN-12. Armies need weapons, ships need engines. What does your cult provide you now? Donations? Artifacts? We offer that and more. Our reach extends across the galaxy. Simply send a signal from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy. Not just on Nar Shaddaa. It's a deal. You may take control of the cult. And I will take the CN-12. You have made a wise choice, my lord. Here is the CN-12. We assure you, you will not regret this. Is it true? Did you really hand control of the cult over to the Vale? Lying dog. Teach me to ever trust a Sith. They all lie through their teeth. It was time I started building powerful allegiances. You have been loyal, but you are weak. You can't get away with this, lying scum. Destris, calm down. You'll only make it worse. My lord, please go, before Destris does something rash. My lord... You're very efficient. I promised you my respect and support, but you have also gained my admiration. I trust you've heard the bad news. Darth Thanaton's superior on the Dark Council died mysteriously. Darth Thanaton has succeeded him. His insistence on killing me has made one thing clear. Turning back is not an option. I admire your determination, but I don't know how the other Moths will feel about opposing one of the galaxy's twelve most powerful Sith. Now, more than ever, the silencer must be completed, and you must take the credit. The Moths must see the true future of the Sith Empire. 
Let me know when the weapon is completed. I will fire it myself. I will contact you when the weapon is ready for demonstration. Good luck, my lord. My lord, the Belsavis machine. It's made you better, but it wasn't enough to drive the voices from your head, was it? It doesn't matter. I've gotten used to it. Zash is indisposed at the moment, but we still have the writings of Darth Vilas. We should go to Voss. Your body is cured, but Master Ryan always said a Jedi's mind must be whole. It's the same for a Sith. You can't face Thanaton until you can control the dead you've bound. <laughs> 